Hello everyone! Radio signals with unknown origin have been detected near the galactic center. This is a discovery of a new class of object. Let me explain. This is of the universe. This object was detected with ASCAP telescope, Australian SK Pathfinder telescope. So SKA is a future large telescope, square kilometer array. This is a combination of thousands of radio telescopes and then if you add the effective area of those radio antennas, the total area will be square kilometer. So that's why it's called square kilometer array or SKA. And this telescope, ASCAP, is a prototype of SKA. It's a prototype but still very powerful. It consists of 36 of 12 meter antennas. It's already very large, isn't it? And then by combining these 36 antennas, it works as a single telescope. This is called interferometric telescope. And the maximum baseline, the largest length among these 36 antennas is 6 kilometers. So it'll have a high angular resolution as well. What's innovative about this ASCAP telescope is a phase array feed. This is sort of a detector, but this new detector has a very wide field of view. It can monitor a la large area of the sky at the same time. And then it can detect rare objects such as this discovery. ASCAP telescope is in Australia. So let's look at their detection. So this is their detection images. So if you look at the top right panel, this is before this object appears. There's nothing at the center, right? But if you look at the panel B, now boom, there's a big black object appeared at the center. This is the same position, I and mean, it wasn't there before, but very bright object appeared. This is January 2020. This object was detected in the direction of galactic center near our Milky Way galaxy's black hole. And after detection with this ASCAP telescope, another prototype of SKA, Meerkat, in South Africa also try to observe this object. This meerkat is, is also prototype, but it's also very, very powerful. Meerkat had 64 antennas. Each one of them is 13.5 meter. So it's a very large desk. Again, this is combined as interferometer and it works as a single telescope, these 64 antennas. And the maximum baseline, largest distance, between antennas is 8 kilometers, and it's in South Africa. Let's look at detections in a time sequence. So the x-axis is time, and the y-axis here is the flux, the brightness in radio. And then if you could look at the January 2020, there are some blue points. So these are detections with ASCAP telescope. And compared to previous undetection, suddenly it became much, much brighter. And then, interestingly, it suddenly also became fainter too. And then later, January 2021, Meerkat telescope observed this object. If you could look at the red diamonds, so these are data from Meerkat telescope. And again, in January, it got brighter and then faint. If you look at the smaller panel on the bottom right, then it very quickly got fainter and fainter and disappeared. In about 25 hours, it just disappeared. So it got brighter. After 25 hours, it disappears. And usually when you have a, such a big brightening in radio, usually it accompanies brightening in other wavelengths as well. So these researchers try to observe in X-ray and also near infrared, but there was no detection no X-ray detection, and for near infrared, they use Gemini telescope in Hawaii. This is an 8-meter telescope, so it's very sensitive, and it observed this direction, but there was nothing. So the bottom line is what this is. The authors of the paper discuss many possibilities. The first one may be low-mass flare stars. Low-mass stars, much lighter than the sun, sometimes have flare, so it may be this kind of phenomenon, but it's not likely, because those Flares of low mass stars usually accompanied with X-ray or infrared brightening. As you see in a previous page, there was no X-ray 
or infrared detection. So it's not Loma's first stop. What about pulsar? A pulsar is an object on the right panel. It's this pulsating with some angle. And every time this pulse looks at us, the Earth, then you get the, the pulsation. So it, like, it sends us periodic signal, right? It's beep, 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 beep. Usually the period is several milliseconds to seconds. But this object, ASCA object, has no pulsation. It suddenly becomes brighter and fainter, and then again, suddenly becomes brighter and fainter. So it's not like pulsar. What about supernova? Supernova time scale is about two weeks. You get brighter and fainter in about two weeks. But this object got brighter and fainter and in one day. So time scale is much shorter than that of supernova. The same thing for tidal disruption. An example of tidal disruption is there's a black hole. It's going to destroy a star with a, with a gravity. This also time scale is much longer than 25 hours. So it's not very likely. How about X-ray binary? But the X-ray binary has a steady jet, but this object has no steady jet, so it's not likely. Finally, this may be a class of galactic center radio transit, GCLT. GCLT itself is an interesting object with unknown origin. Previously, three of these are detected. This gets brighter and fainter, and we don't know the origin. However, previous three GCLT are more or less signals was coherent. So we got brighter and fainter, brighter and fainter, like in 10 minutes or so, or, or some coherent period. However, this ASCAP object was, you know, randomly suddenly becomes brighter and fainter, quiet, brighter and fainter, there's no periodicity. So it's not like GCLT previously found. So nothing can explain this ASCAP object. So this is nothing like we have seen before. So this is a discovery of new class of radio source and its origin is unknown. Isn't it exciting? There's so many mysteries in the universe. And then the researchers uh, keep monitoring this object and then we collect more and more observational data and combined with a new theory. Researchers are trying to figure out the physical origin of this object. Oh, it's very interesting, isn't it? I thought this was very interesting. So this discovery was made because of the powerful new radio telescope. And as more and more powerful radio telescopes are, are built, then there will be a lot more exciting discoveries, especially SKA, Square Kilometer Array, is planned in the near future. So more and more mysteries of the universe will be discovered in the future. We're lucky to live in an exciting era. Okay, I stop here today. As usual, if you like the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. As more and more the interesting objects are discovered, I introduce in this channel. So please subscribe to my channel. Comments and questions are welcome down below. As usual, thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.